Hello, everyone. I am delighted to be talking to Joey Katsky today. Hi, Joey. How are you? Hi, I'm great. Glad to be here. Yeah, I'm glad to have you on the show. You're going to be telling a story on the theme of tattoo on February 14th. Um, and it's an interesting take on the theme. So I can't wait for people to hear it. Um, okay. You watched the show a few months ago, I think last summer. Uh, yeah. We have a friend in common who was performing on the show. And, uh, and you decided to submit a story. So thank you. Yeah, I think it's such a... I don't know, a great thing that you're doing here. So I'm glad that, you know, she told me about it. So yeah. Cool. Super yeah. Excited. So awesome. So you are in Omaha, Nebraska. Yes, uh, I am. And in the middle yeah. of America. Yeah, so. it's, it's, it's really in the middle, isn't it? It really, we really are. Yeah. Smack dab in the middle. So but yeah. yeah, I, uh, uh, for the first time for this show, I'm going to pull up a map of the storytellers during okay. the, um, during the show, and uh, so I had to, you know, find Omaha in it. I mean, I didn't have to find it. Right yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, oh my god, like it's the center. Uh, we're going to have uh, storytellers from Las Vegas, um, two in Massachusetts, uh, two in Quebec. No, who am I forgetting? Uh, North Carolina, and okay. yourself. And I am in Toronto. So. Um, uh yeah okay so you sent me a story uh have you ever told personal stories before um nothing i mean not in a platform like this i mean yes telling stories when i'm out with friends over a round of drinks yes i tell a lot of stories yeah but not in this way mm -hmm. and um so it is a challenge and i'm looking forward to seeing how i can change things up in my storytelling game. Cool. Uh, what uh, can I ask you? What decided you to do it? Well, I was really inspired by my friend who did it um, back in the spring. And I, I knew I wanted to do it. I just didn't know what story I wanted to tell. Yeah. And this is a relatively new story for me. So I just figured, why not? So awesome. Yeah. Yeah, um, and so that's awesome. I love first time storytellers. Uh, I want to tell everyone that you can start at any time in your life. Uh, there's really no wrong way to do it. You uh, just go ahead and do it. And uh, usually the, uh, the audience is very supportive. I mean, all the time in storytelling. Uh, the, uh, the audience is uh, super, yeah, supportive, uh, welcoming and, uh, and if you, tell your story right, meaning um, if you are vulnerable, it is going to be very um, good for the audience and they are going to be good for you, uh, good to you and they are going to root for you. Uh, and that's really what you're doing in your story. So I can't wait for people uh, to hear it. Um, is there like, did you always feel like you could tell a personal story to people you don't know or uh, because I know like for French people, it's not part of our culture to talk about ourselves. So how is it for okay. you? Um, well, I feel like I'm maybe not too personal. I don't get like too personal with people, but I have no problem like going up to someone and, you know, start chatting up and telling them about my day or you won't believe like what I saw, you know, I, um, even if it's people who I'm fairly new with, um, I don't like silence. So usually I will break the silence by starting to tell a small story about something. Um, it, when I'm with a group of strangers, that is, whether it's just something I heard on TV or whatnot to get a conversation or start telling some sort of story. Yeah. So, okay, cool. So you're like a natural storyteller. It's something you... I think I am. Um, I think I get it from my grandpa. He was okay. a very good storyteller. Um, but as far as like real personal stories, I, I, I don't think I've ever really... In a group setting. One-on-one, -on -one, yeah. yes, with close friends. Yeah. Uh, but never in like with an audience. Yeah. So, so how are you feeling about this? Um, 
I have to admit, I'm kind of getting a little bit of a nervousness. I know it's nothing to worry about, but I'm kind of like, oh gosh, like, what am I doing? <laughs> so yeah, yeah. what did I just sign up for? <laughs> but it'll be good. I'm excited. It's yeah. like a good nervous, if that makes sense. That's good. Uh, yeah. So yeah, don't worry. It's a, it's a safe uh, environment. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I got that feeling when I attended um, awesome. back in the spring. So it seemed cool. like a very welcoming crowd. So, and yeah. supportive, like you said. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, I, I'm sure you're going to be uh, amazing and you're going to be, uh, you're going to want to do it again because it's a common side effect of doing it once. Um, okay. How do you feel about doing it online as opposed to on a stage? Um, I think it would probably be better online because on stage, you can see a lot of people and here it might be better if it's kind of narrowed down. <laughs> you can't, it sounds like we're, it's going to be a full house for this event and it'd be nice to only see maybe a portion of them <laughs> I, that, to help me like focus. More, yeah. So. Okay. So I'm going to give you a tip. Uh, okay. If you don't want to see the audience on your screen, and I'm sure you know that you uh, can just spotlight yourself or uh, choose the speaker view, and then you will be on your screen. Oh, <laughs> you're yeah. going to be talking to yourself, but at least you don't see the audience. Don't tell anyone I told you that. Okay, no, I was actually going to do that because it helps me. I, the other thing I think about online, it kind of helps me look at how I'm presenting. Yeah. Like I've been recording myself just for practice and I notice how I talk or if maybe I mumble during a certain spot. Um, so I might end up doing that. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's funny you mentioned that difference between online and on stage because I feel like for me, it's the opposite where like when I told a few stories on stage, you have the spotlights in your face so you don't see anyone. But okay. on your screen, you see all the little faces <laughs> who are like that. Oh, but, okay. Um, so I guess you, you can feel the problem. energy. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. You oh, can feel okay. the energy on it when you're in, in front of an audience and you're just kind of like, ooh. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So. They both, uh, they're different, but they're, uh, they're great. They're both great experiences. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much uh, for talking to me today. Do you have any last words for people who might want to tell stories or for our audience? I think it's important for everyone to share their story because we might have more in common than we realize. So that's perfect. I love that. All right. Thanks, Joey. I'll see you on the show. It's on February 14th. The theme is uh, tattoo. Uh, grab your ticket because they're going fast. It's a free show and tune in and I'll see you then. Bye, Joey. Yeah. See you then. Bye. Bye.